Uh, oh, maybe it was, um, but I think you know we, we certainly had opportunities that third quarter and didn't nail. I think we had six points in a row or four or five points in a row, which didn't help. But yeah, they certainly outran us, outspread us, and, and outplayed us. I think um, you know, no doubt, uh, they've they've improved out of sight. Um, they're a very very good football team, and um, we matched them for you know a while, but we couldn't match them for the whole game. Yeah, we couldn't get the ball back off them, and it's something we worked on all week and how to get the ball back off uh, off North Melbourne. I think a lot of teams have struggled in the last six, seven weeks to, to get the ball back. But um, you know, whether it was handballing it through the front of the stoppage, which always hurts you, or keeping the ball off us at the back of the back of the in the back line, um, they did it really well. So you know, all credit to them. And it's obviously a, a thing we need something we need to work on this week is preventing the opposition. I think they had 95 uncontested marks or something ridiculous like that. So we got to be better than that. Yeah, they certainly ran over the top of us. I'm not sure whether we were more tired. It's a big season for everyone, so you know we've played the same amount of games they have. Um, but they they certainly outspread us tonight and uh, outran us. So yeah, that's obviously concerning. But we have got a game in six days we need to get ready for. Is it, is it more disappointing given that they were down in rotation for three quarters and still weren't able to you know, sort of put the foot in the throat? Yeah, well, you would have thought with Wells and Adams coming off as early as they did that that um, would have helped us, but maybe. <laughs> Maybe it didn't help us. It certainly didn't help us win the game anyway. Is the local run, I know Zara Arkansas stand up, but is the local run something that concerns you uh, as a bigger problem? Um, the scoreboard probably concerns me, and you know that's a number of reasons. I didn't think we used the ball very well tonight, and, and we got outspread. So um, whether that they go together hand in hand a little bit, that we couldn't create space and we had the ball, um, or North Melbourne were very good at it. Um, we'll have to have a look at the tape, but. Uh, yeah, as I said four or five times already, they they uh, they ran better than we did tonight. James, is the eight still a chance somewhere? Well, I'm not sure the latter, but I think we're probably still eighth. So You're still, yeah. So you know, the eight. Well, we're in there um, with three games to go, which uh, is exciting. But um, we need to start work. We need to start winning. You know, we've lost four in a row now, and we have to win because if we don't win, we won't make it. Um, and uh, we've got to work out this week how we can beat Carlton. James, the uh, backline struck. You left out Hooker and Pears. And they went a trifle small. You did very well on Petrie, but Tanner hmm. and uh, uh, Hanson were good contributors for them. How did you feel that? I mean, what was the thinking going in, and how did you feel that? Yeah, we, we wanted to go a bit smaller. Um, you know, we certainly had the height to compete with them. Maybe we didn't, th th those two guys did well, but. Um, you know, there's certain times in a game that you want to be able to run, and obviously our run wasn't as good as it was, but we certainly wanted to use the ball better out of our back line than, than we had been. Um, but, you know, um, Kale and and, uh, and Tate are obviously you know, in line for selection this week, and, and we'll see how we go with that. Was, what did you say you wanted to go a bit short today? Will it also be a reform thing for Hook? Last month was a bit. Strong. Yeah, Hooksy, Hooksy hasn't been too. Hooksy had a pretty good year. Um, last couple of weeks, you know, maybe got beaten by certain guys, but um, no, he's in good enough form that we'll, um, you know, we should be able to bring him back in pretty soon. Yes, they're uh, unless barring any injury this week or an accident this week, then um, Paddy and Stance will be certainly. Um, but um, Zaka, Zaka should play, but we just want to be very careful with his. He had this nasty tendon injury in his quad, and we. You know, he's back running flat out, kicking flat out, so we just have to make sure he can get through a game really, rather than rush him back in. Theoretically, that should be good, I suppose, but it's just the, the continuity factor. I suppose, you know, like even tonight, you brought a few, a few in that hmm. guys just haven't had that continuity. No, and um, we need to make sure we can get some continuity back in our players. But, yeah, it's, um, it's always hard when guys are coming in and out of the team. But... That's, it is what it is, and we'll front up next week. And I think um, you know the boys are very disappointed in the rooms. Um, they realise they played a pretty good team in North Melbourne, who, who played better than we did. But we've got a game in six days. That you know, let's get over this tomorrow and get on with Carlton in six days' time. Win, win. You know, if we win, it, it arrests it pretty quickly. 
We have to. Uh, what do we have to do? We have to make sure we can get the ball back off the opposition, uh, opposition better. I thought we defended really well in Adelaide last week, and we didn't defend as well all over the ground this week. And until as a team, we learn to defend better. Um, and that's you know that's not a player's issue only. That's a you know it's coaching, it's playing, it's fitness, it's all sorts of things. And it's very hard to to win games of footy. So um, we need to get that better. Yeah, um, you know, footy been around football for a long time, and uh, we've had a bad four, well, not bad four weeks, haven't won in four weeks, um, but that can change really quickly. But right now, we're not thinking about uh, the result after Carlton. We're thinking about how, right, how how we play better and how we how we deal with Carlton, who you know had a really good win on the weekend, and I think have won three of their last four or something like that. So they're um, they're back to some form, and you know, MCG Carlton versus Essendon for a spot in the eight, pretty big game, I would have thought. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.